Some people like OneDrive, some people don't. I fall into the latter category. If you've, even if you've already uninstalled OneDrive, this is relevant. So you're cruising along, you're trying to save a file or open a file, and... OneDrive opens. Let's show you how to stop that from happening or make that less likely. Since we're going to mess with the registry, I suggest that you create a restore point and maybe back up everything you have on your stored on your OneDrive. To get this started, we're going to fire up the registry editor by typing regedit into the search box there. When you click the icon, you're going to get the user account panel and uh, click yes there. Now your registry editor may or may not look just like this. Let's uh, make it look more like what yours probably looks like. Next thing we're going to do is click Edit, then we're going to click on Find, and we're going to type a specific value in there, the one that relates to OneDrive, 018D5C66. So once you have that typed in there, we're going to click Find Next, and there is the value that we want to that we want to impact there. System is pinned is what it looks like there to namespace tree, whatever that means. I'm going to back things out so you can see what's going on here a little better. Now when I double click on this value, it's going to show us a one because it's OneDrive is on. If I add a zero to it, change it to a zero and I click OK, you'll see on the left that OneDrive will disappear. If I double click on it again, there's a zero there. If I type in a one, click OK, you'll see that OneDrive reappears. If I click on it again, type in a zero, click OK, it's gone. So that shows you a little bit about how the registry works and how to disable OneDrive.